ChatGPT recently released the Code Interpreter plugin for GPT-4. I am going to show you in today's video how we can edit images using ChatGPT. You heard me right, edit images. And not only that, an extra added bonus, I'm gonna show you how we can actually create a downloadable MP4 video slideshow using a zip file of images that I've downloaded. Rossi Bytes. Okay, so if you have a ChatGPT Plus subscription underneath the settings for your account for ChatGPT, which you'd find down in the bottom left-hand corner of your chat history pane, you can go underneath beta features and toggle on code interpreter. When you do that, and then you come into your chat under GPT-4, you select code interpreter to enable it. So now that we've enabled code interpreter, I have this image here that I want to use to do a couple of demonstrations of how ChatGPT's code interpreter can actually edit images and make changes to things just using simple text prompts. So this is the image that we're going to be looking at. We've got blue background, dark colored suit jacket. We've got a little green plant over here, some black accessories on the desk, a laptop, MacBook or whatever. And then we have like a folder holding accessory here as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to upload a file. So I'm just going to drag and drop. You can also click the plus icon, which will allow you to browse your computer, but I'm going to drag and drop this and we're going to see that it has uploaded my image file. I'm now going to give it a prompt that says, give me the main colors of the image in hexadecimal values, and then provide me with a color swatch next to each hexadecimal value. And we'll see that the code interpreter plugin is going to work here. And what it's going to do is look at the image. Yes, I said, look at the image. And it's going to create Python code under the covers to actually analyze that image and then decide what the main colors are in the image. And then it will provide us the hex values that align with those particular colors. So you see that it's given us the hexadecimal values. Now it's going to generate color swatches for each of these colors. Okay, and one of the things that's really cool about Code Interpreter is it actually picks up on mistakes if it runs into a problem. And so here you can see that it feels that it made a mistake in its approach. And now it what it did was it took the hexadecimal values, converted them to RGB values, and then used the RGB values to create the color swatches. But you can see now that it's given us a color swatch palette here that has the hexadecimal values showing as well. So this would be very useful if you wanted to, for example, use your the color palette of a particular image for designing like brand colors on a website. So if we bring back in the original image and take a look at what it's picked out as the color palette, that's pretty accurate right there. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that same image, but I'm going to ask ChatGPT's code interpreter to create an animated GIF that zooms. How would you like this GIF to be structured? For example, we could start with the full image and gradually zoom into a specific area over a series of frames. If so, could you please specify the area? So I'll say zoom into the center. And we can see that the code interpreter plugin is going to work. And if you click on the show work, it's showing you that it's creating Python code here to actually carry out this function. It says it's finished working. Here is the animated GIF that gradually zooms into the center of the image. I don't see any link to click on, so please provide a download link for the... Okay, you can download the generated GIF using the link below. So I'm gonna click here and it's created this file for us. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over into my browser. And we can see that it is zooming into the center of the image. Amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna ask it to increase the size of the original image I uploaded by 30%. Okay, so it says I have resized the original image as per your request. Here is the link to download the updated image. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. 
and we'll see that it's created the file here. Let me open that. So here is the resized version. And this was my original version. So you can see that just by giving it a text prompt to increase the size, it was able to do that within very short time. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask it to convert the image to black and white. Here's a link to download the image from, so I'm gonna click on the link. We'll go ahead and open that up. And I'll drag that over and you'll see that there's now a black and white version of the image. Amazing. Okay, so now the long awaited demo of creating a video slash slideshow from a series of images that I have in a zip file. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload my zip file to start out. And then I'm going to paste in the following prompt. Create a slideshow using the images in this file. Images should have a five second duration each. Please include a quick fade in and fade out transition in between each image. Please create an MP4 video using the images that I can download. And so it's giving us the steps that it's going to carry out. So we're going to unzip the uploaded file and read the images, sort the images if necessary to check their formats. And then it's giving us what it's going to do as far as using an appropriate library or a tool to create a slideshow with the fade in and fade out transitions and then saving the slideshow as an MP4 file. So it then says that the unzipped folder contains the following image files and it lists the four images that I have in my zip file. And now it says that it's going on to create the slideshow with the images. And you can see it says finished working, but down here in the dialog, you can see that the three dots are still typing. That's how you know that it's still doing some work. And one of the things I like about Code Interpreter is that it picks up on errors or incorrect approaches. So for example, you can see apologies for the confusion. It seems that there was a mistake in the code. The correct functions for applying fade in and fade out effects are, and then it lists what they are. Let's correct this and rerun the code. Okay, now it's telling us that the frames per second value needs to be set for the video. It's picking one for us, 24 frames per second. And then it says, let's try this again. And remember, this is still in a beta release. So the fact that we can even be doing this anyways is crazy, but it has a few hiccups as you've seen but it corrects itself. And as you see, it now says that the slideshow has been created successfully. You can download it using the link below. So let's go ahead and download that. And we'll go ahead and open it up. And I'm gonna drag it over here. Fade in. Beautiful fade out, beautiful fade in. Beautiful, very good quality. You don't see a lot of artifacting that you would expect to see. But as I said, within a few minutes, we were able to literally create a slideshow with images that we had in a zip file just by asking ChatGPT with the Code Interpreter plugin to create it for us. Rossi Bytes.